Phonathons are critical to meeting and exceeding our $10.8 million goal. And like we said, this increase of $100,000 does not keep up with the rate of inflation. Phonathons are easy. I've run them for about 20 years. Just recruit your callers and schedule the dates. The week before appeal time is a great time to hold your phonathon. And if necessary, schedule a second one in early May. For callers, I've used 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. I've used school parents who need to work for a reduction in tuition. I've contacted groups like The Holy Name. I've asked retirees, and I've conned my relatives. <laughs> you can put the word out through the pulpit or the bulletin. Tell them you need volunteers. Stress that we don't ask, we don't pressure anyone to donate. And we've even got a script for you on page 17. You can give your callers pages or parts of the pages of the non-donor report. But I found it's easier to use the duplicate set of pledge cards. It's better because you can complete the card during the call and it's ready to put into the blue pledge card envelope. Now if you ordered those duplicate sets, you can expect delivery by the week of February 23rd. If the donor says he gave, simply thank him. You can verify it with the report I'll cover shortly. Thank folks even if they refuse. But in all cases, verify the data on the record. And give any name, address, telephone corrections to the parish secretary so the PDS, the parish data system, is kept up to date. We don't want to lose track of potential donors. The PDS is the list of everyone in the parish, and it's as vital to the parish as your Christmas card list and your email addresses are to you. Obviously, you need to reach the large gift donors, but if you have volunteers, call everyone you can. Most large gift donors don't start at the large gift level, and several <coughs> new small gifts can make up for the large gift donor who died or moved. Another tip, it's a good idea to leave a voicemail reminder message if you're short of callers, if you've got a lot of calls to make. But speaking with the donor does give you a better chance to obtain a pledge, obtain corrections, and answer questions. When it comes to significantly large gifts for your parish, your message should be for the donor to call you or your large gifts chair. Get a commitment. 3% of our donors account for 38% of the donations we receive. 38% of the dollars from 3% of the people. But we need every donation to serve our neighbors in need. So consider a pizza party at your parish for a group phone with them. We only had two phone lines in my parish, so we often asked businesses <coughs> if we could use their phone banks. Usually, we did use our own phones. But still, we talked to or left message for hundreds of parishioners. Of course, your volunteers can call from home, so it's easy for them. Earlier, I said you're not alone. Our veteran staff and their areas of responsibility are listed on page 12. You can contact me as well if you have any questions.